This week has been plenty again, a bit more than last week, with studios like Just Flights 146, Wink 42, The Saab 340, Leonardo's Flight Tampa and a lot more. Now would there be a limit to the number of add-ons we can have at the sim? Certainly not. It's time for us to take a peek at what's next. Ladies and gentlemen, a weekly video on what's hot at the marketplace. We cover them often from the development updates, marketplace add-ons, events, freeware, plus a lot more exciting things. So hit that subscribe button for future releases. Now the team of Just Flight seem to be in a full swing with the latest development. The British airliner is going through some major testing under beta stage, getting set to join its limited selection of top level airliners at the sim. There's no doubt the BAE 146 has been led by the team of Martin Northall from Just Flight with a recent short test flight from Southampton to Bournemouth. They gave us some good scope on how the progress has been going. The current state appears to be well furnished in terms of aircraft systems being fully operational. Of course, there's some fine tuning with improvements with a good level of feedback the testing team gave in various aspects and looking at the flight deck here, instruments are numerous being a mini jumbo. They've been offering a good performance according to the team. Now this is a just flight product, complexity plus another level of functional caliber can be expected not just in systems, flight behavior and other aspects of the aircraft as well. With a given screenshot on the open door and the extension of the air stairs helping passengers climb aboard, now they extend under their own weight needing hydraulic pressure from the yellow system to retract which gives us a good example of how versatile the 146 can really be. With impressive detailing outside the model, plus custom chocks and GPU that have been recent additions. To keep the feel more lively in terms of ground operations, this is something to note, plus the heat blur, which have been one of the many included effects. Hopefully we see another exciting addition after the Hawk T1. Now it's been some time since we revisited how well the team of Wing 42 have been doing with the Boeing 247D. Another classic vintage airliner known for its unique features and with the amount of attention to detail, a fully functional vintage radio was a good start. It's been a few months since the project began with a lot more coverage this time. With final stages approaching development, if all the promises can be made, this could be one of the most immersive experiences of a flight model. Now with the recent update we received, an in-house propertronics physics engine would be the golden feature. Now this actually helps deliver more realistic physics and behaviors to flight models. There have been other areas that have been progressed well including in-depth electrical systems which may experience fuses that could melt in the panel. This could as well blow up and cripple critical systems of the model like the landing gear during flight. I love the way different teams have their own line of thought to keep things more real. The same manner oil systems that flow over parts of the model that deliver real-time calculations and several parameters like temperature, pressure, viscosity and more. If you're not convinced about this yet, you get to choose the right oil before your next flight and to top it all, you get to experience the aircraft in the same state where you left in terms of fuel quantities, oil levels, levers and switches which makes it rather more exciting with the type of ownership plus getting flight simulation to another serious level. Another airliner has come into play from the team of next gen simulations. Now the Saab 340 doesn't need an introduction. The Swedish twin engine turboprop regional airliner has been the main focus at the moment. With the first set of images that have rolled in quite recently, although with a few details the team have given us, it appears that GTN 750 and the TDS GTN XI are planned to be integrated along with the default option of the GNS 530. Now with a few renders of the external model, doesn't really give us much detail on what to see plus very little detail on the visual quality of what the final product can really be. The good news is that this is in progress, along with other models that include the Embraer ERJ family, an ambitious project with a popular selection of regional jets which leans close to the Bombardier CRJ series that have been followed by the Bandarante. Now the Bandarante didn't have a great reception from the community, however the team have strongly considered to improve the model further to keep consumer expectations at par with fixes including sound, weather radar and GTN 750. 
It's all a learning curve for most of the teams in a platform like this, with so much to code, develop and when the first implementation takes off, the following projects get much better and better. Another different yet an exciting aircraft is in the lines of good progress, the McDonnell Douglas KC-10 Extender. The aerial refueler tanker is needed as a sim. And imagine if it gets functional, how more thrilling could this be if you're trying to refuel your jet midair? Now, Aerodynamics have taken this honor to work on a yet ambitious project like this. We need different types of planes here, not under the same category, rather different categories to try out how planes have been designed for various purposes and hopefully see some missions. Now, both the KC-10 as well as the DC-10 are in plans. The DC-10 can be a good addition to the airliner's class. A complete overhaul has been made at external model of the aircraft. The goal here is to have a better representation of the forward section, wing routes and other areas as it's always ideal to have the devs to take their own time when it comes to projects like these. Now three different models are in play here, the KC-10 tanker followed by the DC-10F that's the civilian cargo transport variant as well as the passenger version which is the DC-10. More to cover in the days to come for this. The MD-80 here appears to be well in progress according to Stefano, one of the main members of the team. Now beta testing has been ongoing. The plans are to release a basic package for now. Of course, plenty of features are to be dialed in as well as functionality followed by expansion packs. Now the expansion packs can include the MD-83 and 88 variant with the inclusion of the Canadian Marconi FMS and PMS as well as EFP and servicing features. Now this has been one of a kind model for sure under the Prepare 3D version, a good reception from that community. Now functions under the FMS service page according to the team would include operating doors, stairs, external power giving a better integration with the platform. Hopefully, we see a new standard set for tube liners following with other great projects. Now, ground level speaking, the airport has been featured today would be the Toronto International Airport. With Flight Tampa's next addition to the sim, this is a good start for Canada to get some good set of great add-ons to the region. And it's been quite less with a handful of add-ons here. A noticeable set of improvements when you compare to the Prepare 3D version with high PBI textures, dynamic lighting and a good recreation of interior models. Now the next focus would be Boston Airport and Toronto Pearson International Airport is the main airport that serves the region of Toronto. It's the largest and busiest in Canada plus a primary hub for Air Canada and WestJet. Plenty of routes are from this location, from short hauls to long haul flights with Dreamliners and similar categories. Now the team of Flight Tampa have had a good amount of interesting projects at Microsoft Flight Simulator, including Las Vegas. Let us know which one of these projects excite you the most. What are you looking forward for? Drop them in the comments below. We have a lot more to cover in the days to come. This is just the beginning. We hope you like this video, subscribe for more. Until next time, do take care and happy flying folks.